Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Winter Planet, titled, How dare you inconvenience me by making me pick up the item you're giving away for free? Is this still available? Yes. Hi, I saw the post about the free microwave and want it. I'm a single mom, and I need it for my kids. Okay, well it's still available, so just let me know when you want to pick it up, and I'll have it ready. I can't pick it up because of my kids. Can you deliver it to me? No, sorry. Well, if I come get it, will you give me something else to make it worth my time? Another kitchen alliance, like a mixer? But just if it's made by KitchenAid, and not cheap or broke or damaged. No, but I'll take half off my asking price for the microwave. Huh? You said it's free, and had off, nothing is still nothing. That was sort of my point. If you want it, come get it, otherwise don't. It's all the same to me. No! You're dishonest and trying to take advantage of me and my kids. I fail to see how they're trying to take advantage of you when they're giving away the microwave for free. You just don't want to go pick it up because of your kids. This next one is by P.T. Brinson titled, Please tear down my ramp, take care of the scrap, and build me new stairs. This has to be a joke, right? Ramp. Free wheelchair ramp. Very good condition. You must remove and haul away. You must also build steps to replace it. Mine was removed for the ramp. Again, you must build new steps and have the materials to do so. It's very kind that you're giving the ramp away. However, you're making people do work for it and you're not even giving the complete ramp. So good luck finding someone to do that. This next one is from Sav P is Sav titled A Sofa for Free. No Ottoman was in the ad. Sofa for free to a good home. Sectional? No, not a sectional. Well, it was. Missing the footstool now. And? It's a free couch. Fuck off. Nothing is ever good enough for beggars. Even when they're getting a free couch, they have to point out the flaws because, let's face it, if it's not new, it's not good enough. And even then, if it was brand new, it still wouldn't be good enough. This next one is by B.H. Naff, titled The Ultimate Choosing Beggar. 41-year-old unemployed Oxford graduate sues parents to get maintenance grant for life. A 41-year-old unemployed Oxford graduate has sued his parents in a bid to force them to grant him financial support for life. The man, identified as Faiz Siddiqui, claimed he is entirely dependent on his wealthy parents who are based in Dubai. He further claimed that without the money from his mom and dad, his human rights would be violated. This is definitely a case of the silver spoon and he clearly doesn't want it removed, but the fact that he's trying to sue his parents so they'll support him for life? <laughs> wow. This next one is from Meow Kitty, titled, Just received this DM on my Etsy candle page. I'm unsure if they truly understand the meaning of the word collab, but it was a B for the effort. Does this actually work for people? Hello, my name is Blank, and I would love to collab with you. What's a collab, you ask? It's where you send me your products for free. I leave reviews and post on my social media, TikTok or Snapchat. I will make videos about your amazing products and business. Please, if interested, contact me back. Thank you. Collaboration. Noun. The act of working with someone to produce or create something. Exactly. Working with someone to produce or create something, not asking for something for free so you can post on social media. This next one is by Less Bite, titled, Selling a Camera for $600. The guy says he can only pay in cash, and turns up with $370 and expects it'll be fine. I didn't even get out of my car. Just drove away. Seriously? I drove 40 minutes to meet you. It's not even that big of a difference. 
I'm not selling it for $230 less than the price I listed. And you agreed to. Then I want money for the gas I used getting there. Are you serious? You agreed to a price. I also drove out of my way to meet you. And you tell me you accidentally didn't bring all the money. Now you want me to pay you? Fine. Meet next week. Same place and time. So you do have the money? Yes. Like I said, it was an accident. But now you can forget it. You're so rude and up yourself, greedy piece of shit. Okay, buddy. Have a good one. Fuck you. No one is going to buy it for that price. Fucking white trash. Correction, beggar. You're not going to buy it for that price. I'm sure somebody else will happily pay the price that they're asking. This next one is from No Bot No Problem, titled My Plug Put This On His Story. <laughs> I don't understand. Forget it. <laughs> the way he asked. K. My birthday is coming up, and when it does, can you get me a bottle of liquor from, like, your parents or something? And because it'll be my birthday, I'm not paying you. It should be free. It could be your gift to me. Okay? Okay? The question is, beggar, is it okay that they left you on red and that they didn't even bother to reply to that ridiculous request? This next one is by MillerMac12, titled, As the owner of an online business, this is the most entitled choosing beggar I've ever come across. Hey, where can I buy your products? Hey, you can find all of our products at apollovillage.nl. Can I get a discount? I'm sorry, but we do not have any running discounts active right now. But if you sign in our newsletter, you'll be notified next time a discount event is running. Oh, what the fuck? It's secondhand though. I can find secondhand clothing for free too. Our products are handpicked and a guaranteed quality. Fuck you guys. Stupid bitches. Assholes. Fuck you. Just because you don't get a discount doesn't mean you need to freak out and insult them. Quite frankly, if you can get it elsewhere, why don't you? A lot of you beggars talk the talk, but you can't walk the walk. This next one is from Mini Mindigster, titled, This acrylic nail maker seller on Instagram has had enough of the choosing beggars. Afternoon all. So I received this message from a random girl on Instagram today, asking me to send her free nails so she could help promote my page. To which I declined and got a rude reply from her. I've received many of these messages, so please, if you're reading this and call yourself a promoter or influencer, please do not message me asking for free anything. It costs me to make nails. I don't get my supplies for free. I work full time and I'm trying to make a success of my small business at the same time. So rather than asking for free things, I'd rather you just support my page by liking my pics, commenting, and sharing my designs. The one thing I can never understand about these promoters and influencers, they usually go in talking about how much they love this person's product and how they would love to promote it, but they want it for free. I look at it like if you really like a product, you should promote it or talk about it regardless. And our final one is by No Cauliflower 2453 titled, This is stolen and my bad for that. But the bottom quote reminds me of a mashup of choosing beggars and nice guys. <laughs> Shower thoughts. An assassin is really just a serial killer who takes requests. Excuse you, they take commissions. Hey man, can you kill this guy? Alright, that'll be 10k. Uh, can't you just do it for the exposure? Whatever, you suck at murder anyway. <laughs> I definitely see the comparison between nice guys and choosing beggars because for the exposure, yeah, that's choosing beggars. And of course, when nice guys don't get their way, the person they're after sucks. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, we're so close to 20k, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I drop a new video. And drop a comment down below, that helps immensely with the algorithm. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, 
Have a great day and stay safe out there.